Hello everyone, welcome to Gear for Music. We are here today with Senior Product Specialist Toby from Hi. Chauvet DJ. Welcome mate. Oh, thank you. Good to have you here. And now I see you've brought a good load of lights <laughs> this time, yeah? yeah? yeah. What, what have we got here then? What have you brought in with you today? So I've brought uh, a good portion of our ILS products. Not all of them, there's even more than this. <laughs> <laughs> so I've brought the Intimidator Spot 160 ILS, mm -hmm. the Swarm Wash FX ILS, and then three of the PARs, so we've got the Slimpar Q12 ILS, mm -hmm. Slimpar H6 ILS, <laughs> and Slimpar T12 ILS. And then the big feature piece is the brand new Gig Bar Move Plus ILS. <laughs> nice, nice. If you haven't gathered, the big thing on all these units is ILS. <laughs> yep, yep, ILS. Stands for Integrated Lighting System. Okay. And cool. our whole feature of this is that our new Gig Bar uh, can control all of these lights. Mm -hmm. So there's no programming required. Um, you can just uh, master slave from the gig bar to all these units and they will copy whatever the gig bar is doing. It's got all the programs built in. Right, so right. You're not having to learn DMX, you're not mm -hmm. having to spend time patching it. You get all the control through the gig bar. Oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect for someone who yeah, doesn't know like, you know, DMX and just wants to set it up, mm -hmm. plug it in and just it's good to go. Or even no, if you're no just after speed, the amount yeah, of time yeah. having to set up a controller and just repatching things. Mm -hmm. it, it can all add time that often you don't want to be wasting on that. You want to be yeah, set up, you want to be ready for the out as well. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> Everyone wants to get no, home on get time. Yeah, I don't want to be here for another three hours, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so we've also upgraded the gig bar. So oh, yeah. uh, if you've seen our other products, the gig bar two and the gig bar move, mm -hmm. uh, this is the same form factor as the gig bar move, uh, but we've had some major improvements to it. So uh, because 160s are part of the ILS, we've integrated them into the bar. So it's a 32 watt LED moving head right. to match these units, the same gobo wheel, the same color wheel. Mm -hmm. Because they can master slave, it means that they can copy each other. You can see them on the back wall doing similar gobo patterns and yeah. colors and all that. And even the same movements, they will be mm -hmm. uh, oh. copying the movements of the units on the bar yeah. as well. We've also increased the wattage of the PARs and the derbies, so they've got extra punch to help fight through the uh, moving head output. Because mm -hmm. of course, if you up one thing, you need to up them all so yeah. they all match. No yeah. one likes a really dim light <laughs> to go with it. And then the other great thing is we've added uh, blue to the laser, so it's an RGB oh. laser. So we'll still be doing the gig bar two, gig bar move, but now we have the big, biggest unit of them all, the gig bar move plus. So you get all those extra higher outputs and the ability to control the units. That's what's the massive thing of ILS is. Ah, so right. You get full control through auto program mm -hmm. or sound to light. Uh, and then we have a manual mode. So all the features on a unit. So the gig bar has all the effects built in. Yeah. You can turn off any of them and it will turn it off from all of them. Right, right. So okay. the example I often use is the strobe light for first dance. Mm -hmm. It's not always appropriate. You never want uh, one. <laughs> I'm beginning. sure there's some wedding that didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, it can be a bit harsh for that slow dance. Mm -hmm. um, just with the remote or using the controls on the back, mm -hmm. uh, you can toggle on and off every feature. Right. So you can have it so uh, a walking state might be just the pars and the moving heads, just giving gentle movement yeah. and that kind of thing. And then when it goes to full party mode, just toggle Bang everything it on. on. Everyone's everything out, yeah, <laughs> Everyone's going on. for it. So the remote has had an upgrade as well. We've gone from uh, IR control, which required you to always be pointing at the unit, to uh, RF. Okay. So you don't have to point anymore at the unit. Gives you a bit more freedom when you want to place your unit in different locations to normal. Yeah. Uh, I know certain people's setups mean that the IR remote doesn't always get the right angle. Mm -hmm. Just so much easier having the RF. You can just be anywhere within range and just press yeah, the buttons. Yeah, it's so, so much more <laughs> useful, isn't it, for most people. They probably think that's just so much easier. You can you don't have to worry about, like, oh, is it going to work over there? You're just like, <laughs> in my hand, I want that, boom, done. And then you can see it just changing over from wherever this, you put your lights. This is how I've always been controlling this unit. Now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had it for a little while to play with. Mm -hmm. I keep taking it everywhere and using it everywhere. Yeah. And all the time, I'm always using the remote. Uh, it also has a lot more um, control built in the remote and on the unit. Okay. Because everything is slave to the gig bar, we wanted to give more control to those auto programs and sound to light or even the manual ones so that you can have the show you want and not be limited by just what the auto program is built in. So not right. only can you turn off certain features, you can select specific colors through the remote. Um, you can uh, toggle the moving head speed. Mm -hmm. So not everyone wants quick moving heads, yeah. different types of music, different scenarios. Mm -hmm. You can change the speed on them. We also give you two types of speed control on the auto programs. Right. 
So you get a uh, step length. So a step might be the uh, pars swapping between red, green, blue. Mm -hmm. And you also get the step speed. So you get to have that step on for a longer period or a shorter period. Yeah. And that chase within that step, you can adjust the speed of that. Right. So you get lots of control. Yeah, a lot of control there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just be right for the situation you're in. Yeah. And it's all through the remote or through on board on the unit. Yeah, super so easy, super yeah. flexible. No programming. Yeah. I'm at a different venue. I require a slower style. Mm -hmm. Just press just the button, change it. Lower it down. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. Awesome. So uh, ILS, can you tell me a bit more about what that is and how does it work? So it's integrated lighting system. Mm -hmm. Everything slaves to the gig bar, which is the overall master, because it has all the effects, it has all the knowledge to spread it to the others. Mm -hmm. You can connect via DMX, like we've done today. Well, the gig bar has DeFi built in, which is our wireless protocol. So you can wirelessly transmit to these units. And all the ILS units have our USB port on it. So you right. can get the DeFi USB, just link it in, and then you've got less cables, so you're yeah. even quicker with your yeah, setup. Yeah, even quicker. Not only is it quick to have the show all running as one cohesive pattern, mm -hmm. which Yes, you can set up your show and have everything on auto, Yeah, but it just looks a mess. Yeah. Well, <laughs> certain people <laughs> like the effect. I, I personally like a bit of cohesion. I, I like it where all the units look like they're working together, mm -hmm. and you really do see the difference with people on the dance floor or in whatever situation you're in, because they react to it. When it's yeah. all working together, yeah. you can't help but notice it and start mm -hmm. seeing that the lights are really working as a program show without yeah. any programming. So like the music, the lights together, just creates mm -hmm. a full show. Like even if you're just at like a wedding or if you're at an event or <laughs> if you're out like at a proper festival, it does make the difference, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. People people like to see the the union between the two and mm -hmm. having it where the whole show matches, it, it is much more immersive. And that's mm -hmm. what we give you with this system without having to do any programming, without having to learn DMX or spend the time or the pre-programming just to get it right. Right, right. If you want to do that, you can still do it. This system allows you to upgrade, so it still has DMX capabilities. You okay. can still use the foot switch on it. Mm -hmm. We haven't got rid of any of the features. You can still use them all. Yeah, yeah. Another feature uh, that we added, again, going to the different types of uh, music and situations and venues and that, we currently have the units doing snap on their change. So all right. the color changes are just change, 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 change. Not always appropriate for certain types of music, so we've added in fade. And we've added that to the auto programs of all the other units. Okay. So cool. if they can fade their color, like in the wash pits mm -hmm. or in the Derby effects, it will do a fade transition, which means you can use these units in so many more situations and music styles. Yeah. Uh, all about the auto programs and sound to light and that. We've put so much in it yeah. <laughs> so that you're not having to really do any programming. You just be like, oh, I'm at this venue. I need yeah. a fade. I need the moving head slow. I don't want the strobe lights on. And it's all done with you the remote. All changing or on the, easier. Like or on for someone like itself. me, I, who doesn't know much <laughs> about lighting, that just seems like a dream where you can literally just go, right, let's get these. I don't have to worry about anything. Like putting it all in. It just I've got all the features we need. Mm -hmm. It's set up real quick as well. And mm -hmm. then, like you say, you can just change. You're like all of a sudden you've got an, a crazy song mm -hmm. on it and goes smooth, and your strobe lights are going off. You're like, I don't want them on. <laughs> you just go bang, and you can just change it really easy. We, we've tried to think of everything. We, we've even added like a, a freeze button. Okay. So uh, speeches, again, in weddings, mm -hmm. um, normally DJs are set up beforehand or getting set up or that. You can freeze the lights so, so that they're not moving, right? but they're still mm -hmm. on. Yeah. So instead of just having to black out everything, you can yeah. have everything on a still state. Someone needs to make an announcement or you need a pause or whatever. You get that control in the remote. So we, we've tried to think of yeah. as many situations, scenarios that may require you to mm -hmm. alter the auto program, allow you to have that look of a program show Mm -hmm. without actually suddenly having to program in new things. Yeah, I guess people who are like, the crowd probably will notice the difference oh, yeah. as well from like this yeah. kind of thing, like a proper setup light show. Mm -hmm. like, I know I like that. <laughs> Where we're out, you know, you like the lights to be nice and actually mm -hmm. working, not just, just splashing in your face all the time. It, really it makes it very easy to grow the system as well. So yeah. the gig bar is divided into two halves. You've got one and two. Okay. And you can tell each of these whether they're slave one, two, three, or four. Mm -hmm. You can have two gig bars if you want. Yeah. Um, so if it's on slave two, it will copy one side of it. And if right. it's on slave one, it will copy the other. Mm -hmm. So at the minute, they're copying only one side. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can have it so that they mirror each other. So it, again, making that uh, version, yeah. making it seem as if more programs mm -hmm. gone into it. And all you've done is just say, no, nope, you, you copy that side. Yeah, today. you copy that easy. <laughs> oh, really? really so you, really you can start with a gig bar and add a couple of moving heads and then. Yeah. 
I need more fillers so you can get more pars or more effects. And you can just keep growing. It's really easy to add. Um, if you're connecting via cable, mm -hmm. uh, standard rules of DMX because it's the same signal strength, yeah. uh, which is 32 units. I personally always go for D5, less cables yeah. I'm having to carry, <laughs> uh, more copper in your van. Yeah, right. Before it weighs it down. <laughs> so I always try and go wireless when I can. Uh, and because that's just a, a broadcast and listen system, um, you can have as many as you want connected on that. Right, right. Without having to think of splitters or extra mm -hmm. cable or anything. Just the USB, the all up, makes mm -hmm. it really easy. Cool. So, yeah, that was going to be my question, actually. It was like, <laughs> could you use these lights with other lights then? So you can only uh, connect with the ILS system. Okay, yeah. So mm -hmm. for the gig bar to control it, the unit has to have ILS in it. Mm -hmm. um, but the unit's still master slave between themselves. So if you have two swarm wash FX, mm -hmm. you can master slave them together yeah. or two kinters. But if you want overall control where it's controlling all the programs, you have to have the gig bar move plus ILS. Right, that yeah. is the main brains and that's why that's it's what you all need. the bells you and that. whistles on and it. And then you yeah. can add anything else that yeah. you need, yeah. And then again, even when you get the other ILS systems, you can just co put them together so mm -hmm. they're cohesive and they work together really easy. Yeah. You just, you just uh, plug it in. Uh, tell it which slave it is, so one, two, three, or four, um, and it will work. It will listen. Oh, nice. So cool. it's yeah. so easy <laughs> to set them up. That's just what we want, isn't yeah. it? Making people's lives a lot easier, mm -hmm. especially, like I said again before, just for people who don't really understand this stuff and just yeah. want it to like plug in and just, just, yeah. just work. Just work, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. We've talked quite a lot about these lights now, and I guess one of the things we do actually want to see is these in action to some music. <laughs> cool, yeah. yeah. So, I guess, could we take a look at that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, nice. Right. So yeah, that looks really nice actually, works really well. Toby, could you summarize why someone would want to buy this new ILS system rather than Certainly. these um, standard versions? Yeah, anyone who is after um, saving themselves from DMX or just a quick, easy show to set up, um, or someone who wants to uh, have cohesion mm -hmm. without the, the extra time that all programming requires. We've built it in for you, so it speeds your day up and it allows you to have a show that just looks fantastic all as one unit. Oh, awesome. And separate programs. Yeah, cool. So, nice one. Thank yeah. you. So there you go, guys. I hope you can see how the new ILS system is going to revolutionize your new lighting setup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. See ya.